Hey Leos, welcome to my channel, Ratchet Oracle 22. I apologize for the lighting. I can't figure out the lighting on this new um, tripod. Um, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I got a defected one or not. But Leos, I hope you all have been doing well. This is going to be your Leo message for the month of July. Um, I feel like... I'm hearing give your give them their flowers while they are alive. So I feel like this is going to be a month where people are really um, showing up for you in a genuine way. People are really letting you know how much they appreciate you, how much you inspire them. And how valuable you are to them. Okay, so you could be getting a lot of praise this month, Leo. You could be getting a lot of recognition this month. I feel like because you're finally seeing your worth, I feel like other people around you are also seeing your worth. All right, you could have issues this month with headaches. Okay, something could be going on with headaches. Some of you may be dealing with high blood pressure, diabetes symptoms. You need to get that checked. You need to lead a healthier lifestyle. Okay, shuffling for Leos, June 2023. All right, the card came out in reverse and it is the lover's card. Okay, so Leos, I see you rejecting someone's love offer. I feel like you're not ready to be in a relationship. I feel like you have um, gotten very accustomed to being single for those of you who are single. Um, and I feel like you don't want to be in a relationship right now. I feel like you are still in that phase of your life where you are working on your personal self-development. I feel like you are still healing and getting over some past hurts and some past traumas in regards to a relationship. And I feel like you're really just focused on self-love and self-care. And for those of you who are in a relationship, you could definitely be going through a breakup this month, okay? Um, things just might not be working out, okay? For some of you, if you feel like you're in a happy relationship and you're not going through a breakup, this could be someone from your past coming back around trying to interfere with your relationship, okay? With the lover's card in reverse here. Someone doesn't want to make a choice in terms of love. Someone is choosing themselves. All right, the card that fell out. I said someone is choosing themselves and the card that fell out is the two of wands, okay? Leo, this is your energy showing up in this reading, okay? Fire sign energy. Um, the two of wands is having to choose, okay? And you're choosing you with this lover's card in reverse, when I think of the lover's card, I think of the seventh house, okay? The opposite of the seventh house in astrology is the first house. You are having to choose between yourself and someone else. And this go around, Leo, you are choosing yourself, okay? The two is all the two of wands is also about um, planning for something, okay? So I feel like you're planning to try to make something happen, okay? Um, you could be planning a trip, planning a birthday, or just planning out ways to live a better life okay you could be coming up with a plan for your life um where you're more financially stable you're more secure you're more s solid okay yeah you have the death card in reverse hope in reverse here leo scorpio energy in reverse this could be a scorpio that wants to come back in your life um but i feel like you will be rejecting that person okay or take it how it resonates, a Scorpio could have rejected you, but this is your reading. So I feel like you're having to choose between you and here is the choice and you're having to choose between a Scorpio, okay? Or someone in this Scorpio death card energy, all right? Is what I'm getting. I feel like by choosing yourself, you're avoiding a unnecessary uh, death, Okay. And I feel like someone could have also caused a spiritual death or a spiritual awakening on you. With this death card in reverse, whoever this person is that you were once interested in having a relationship with, 
this person uh, refused to transform with the death card in reverse. So whoever this Scorpio is, this Scorpio refused to grow up. They refuse to ascend. They refuse to, refuse to go through, through the awakening process, okay? Whoever this person is, whether a Scorpio or not, you were so busy ascending and this person was not. And I feel like now they're going to come back around with their hand out begging, begging for forgiveness, begging for a second chance. They're in need of something, okay, Leo? And you have grown so much. Yeah, you even got the Emperor card in reverse here. This is definitely a masculine energy, okay? Um, someone was so busy focused on logic before, okay? Someone refused to follow their intuition, whoever this is, okay? Whoever this is, they refused to follow their intuition. And it caused a... It put a huge wedge in between you and this person, Leo, Okay? Um, it caused a lot of disruption in the relationship. I feel like you got your heart broke with the lover's card in reverse. I feel like this person could have even chosen someone else over you, okay? And I feel like now you're choosing yourself over everyone else. But I feel like the reason this person made that choice is because this person was thinking logically, okay? They weren't following their heart. Their heart was always with you, Leo, but they didn't listen to their heart. Bottom of the deck, the hermit card in reverse, okay? This person, again, just like I already said, this person uh, tried to avoid the spiritual awakening. But now it's inevitable. Now they're going through the spiritual awakening or about to go through the spiritual awakening this month. And <laughs> I kid you not, look at the moon card. This uh, full moon in Sagittarius and Sidereal Scorpio is not going to play with this person, okay? And they're going to wish they had you by their side, okay? The moon card came up upright. The illusions are fading and this person is seeing the truth, okay? This person is seeing things exactly as they are. No more illusions, okay? This person um, could be dealing with some type of depression, Pisces energy. This person is going to wish they had you by their side while they go through this dark night of the soul, this ego death, okay? But I feel like you're moving forward and you're choosing you. The um, fool card in reverse, okay? This person is being blocked. And you're blocking this person, okay? This person might reach out to you, Leo, and you may block them, okay? But I feel like they blocked you before. Wow. But overall, Leo, I feel like you have some choices to make this month. And overall, I feel like you're choosing yourself. And by choosing yourself, I feel like you're avoiding some type of destruction, okay? I feel like you are following your heart this time. And your heart is with you, okay? I feel like this full moon in Sagittarius and, and Sidereal Leo is going to be very pivotal for you. Pivotal for you. I feel like you're being tested, okay? That's why this person is coming around because you're being tested. Are you going to do what you always do and allow someone to distract you? Because you're, I feel like you're at your peak right now, Leo. You've been being so consistent. You've been doing so much healing. And I feel like you're almost there. And now someone's coming in. Someone or something is coming in to try to distract you this month. And are you going to allow it? Yeah. <laughs> a masculine energy. The king of swords. This person could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay. And this person's going to come in and try to distract you. And whether or not you still love this person or not, I feel like keep doing what you've been doing, okay? Keep focusing on yourself. Keep focusing on your money. Keep focusing on building a solid life for yourself. Keep focusing on being secure. Don't let nobody come in and disrupt what you've been doing, okay? All right, I think that's it. We're going to get some clarifiers here. Someone's name could be Marcus. Picked up the clarifier deck. Bottom of the deck is Marcus. Someone's name could be Marcus. And the word Marcus, I'm seeing Mars. Okay, so this person could be an Aries or a Scorpio, which um, is ruled by Mars. Okay, but this is definitely someone that you were once in conflict with. I feel like this person no longer wants to be in conflict with you. And this person's going through a lot. Okay. The King of Swords energy, all right? This person um, is, is under divine judgment, okay? The law has come in for them because they were a trickster, okay? 
they played too many games and now th those games have caught up with them. All right. Let's do five clarifiers. You have the initial R. Mercy. Yes, I told you someone's asking for forgiveness. Someone wants you to forgive them and have mercy on them. Okay, especially if their initial is a R. Data. Okay, data. Somebody got receipts about something. Someone has some receipts. I feel like it may be you. Yeah, you better leave this person alone, Leo. This person has a fuck. This person is a parasite, okay? This person has not healed. And didn't I tell you some type of truth was going to be revealed? The truth is coming out, okay, with the number five card. I mean, the fifth card. Look, this is what your person is saying. It was too hard. It was too hard. That's why they ran from the ascension, Leo. All right, so this month is going to be about you being faced with the choice of choosing you or choosing someone else, okay? Whether it's a relationship, a family member, a friend, or a foe, you're going to have to choose you, okay? Because someone is a parasite, and they got to go. Peace.